Hi guys, links to the GitHub and my personal Discord are shown below in the description. Feel free to get in contact with me whenever you need it. Let's get started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the GitHub repository, click the code button and then download the zip file. Once complete, it will come up in the bottom left as downloaded. Open it. Once you've opened it, just move it to the side and uh, we'll use it in a minute. Now, we're going to ensure that we have the script set up correctly. Therefore, we're going to need KOS. Make sure you have that installed. Now go to the KSP directory. Go to ships. Script. And once you're here, get the zip file backup. Outside of boot, in script, we're going to drag the lib lazcalc into here. I already have it in there so we don't need to do that. And then after which we're going to head into boot and drag Tundra 1 and Tundra Landing into here. Once we're done head to the VAB. So this is the rocket we're using for the scripts. It's the Tundra Ghidorah 9. I have the SpaceX decals which can also be found in the description however it doesn't really affect us here. So to get the scripts, we're going to need a KOS processor, found in Command and Control, Cal 9000, or the Compomax Radial Tubeless. You can see I already have one. Make sure there's only one on each of the stages. Right click it, go to the boot file, and select Tundra 1. Now this could be activated by clicking 6, which will activate the entire launch sequence and even trigger the landing script. Head down to the first stage, and put another processor on the first stage. Right click it, and select Tundra Landing. It doesn't matter about the disk space, that's mainly a career thing, however you can uh, make that all the way if you'd like. Also, I have some action groups set up. You're going to need Kerbal actuators for this, as the engines have three modes. I have action group 1 set up for the toggle engine mode, action group 2 set up for the strong back retract, and action group 7 set up for Ghidorah 9's first stage soot texture. Now that we're in the actual game, we're going to just click 6, it will toggle the strong back retract, wait 10 seconds which we will walk through, and then ignite the engines. Make sure the staging is set up so it activates the engines and then releases from the strong back. There you go, 5000 oxidizer. First stage and second stage will separate. And the first stage will point retrograde. Now make sure you have time control ready, this will be handy as we need it for landing. Also hyper edit and Kerbal Construct at minus 700 vertical speed the rocket will ignite three engines for its re-entry burn and also toggle the soot texture at minus 200 meters a second we will shut down the engines and the rocket will need to be pointed radial out. So enable SAS and select radial out. Right click the KOS processor that's on the first stage and click toggle power. This will disable that script so that it doesn't bug out. Now once you're almost down make sure you have time control ready as when you're at 100 meters you need to pause. Once you've done this go to Kerbal Constructs if you haven't got a group already, create a new group down here. I'm going to spawn a new drone ship. Make sure the funny it worked last time text is actually pointing towards the space center where you launch from. As this is what happens in real life. Move it down directly from where it was. Enable colliders. Facility type, select recovery base. Save and save and close. Now click the save button. Once you've done that, ship lander, in a hyper edit, land here, and unpause. Use the trajectories mod which you need for it to work to roughly get in the center, and now select current. Grab these coordinates and put them into the Tundra landing script. Once complete, just revert to VAB. Now once you're in the VOB, just uh, launch again. No need to change any of the scripts as you've already set up the coordinates. Now just simply close all the tabs you have open and launch.
this is good enough for now. You can edit the script to make it more accurate, however, usually you have to set up the drone ship place in order for it to be directly under like the range band finishes. Now we're going to launch an Ansys 2 replica on board the rocket, so just click 6, make sure your staging is set up, and you can change the fairing separation altitude to anything you like, but we're going for 80,000 today, as I'm on 3x Kerbin. So enjoy the script! And we just ran out of fuel at the last second, but it was a good enough orbit. It does work, uh, it's just that I didn't have enough fuel on that run. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's it. If you liked it, please give me some feedback. Uh, that's the launch script. All the mods are linked below, and as said before, the GitHub and the Discord are also linked. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.